Hi Bixby, show me my notifications. Fantastic. Hi Bixby, pull down the notifications center. Hi Bixby, change the screen resolution to HD+. Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to demonstrate Bixby Voice for Samsung Galaxy S8. As you may or may not know, Bixby Voice is part of the overall Bixby experience, and Bixby Voice allows you to talk to your smartphone and issue various voice commands. It has some basic and some advanced functionality, and with advanced functionality, you can fully control supported apps with your voice. And of course, I'm going to show you all the supported apps that can be controlled by your voice. Let's dive in and see what Bixby Voice is all about. And one more thing, Bixby Voice isn't yet available to everyone. I was able to download it via an early access program that is currently expired. But you will be getting the full version in a few months, so no worries. All right, so first and foremost, let me show you how to access Bixby and how to actually activate Bixby using two different methods. Now, once you do get access to the Bixby voice utility, what's gonna happen is when you scroll over to your Bixby screen, you're gonna see a bunch of new icons on the top, uh, one of them which is actually Bixby. So if I tap this, uh, that is the blue button that you were looking at in the beginning of this video. And from here, you can talk directly to Bixby by tapping on this button. So I can just tap on the button and say, turn off the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, the command was complete. Bixby actually went into the Wi-Fi and actually turned off the setting as if I did it myself using my fingers. So let me go back out, go back to Bixby really quick. Uh, right over here. And the other thing I can do is I can actually turn on the Wi-Fi if I wanted to. So let me try that one more time. Turn on the Wi-Fi. So it goes right back into the actual uh, setting and turns on the Wi-Fi, the option I was looking for, all right? So very easy. Now, the other thing I'm gonna talk about is how to actually activate Bixby. This screen we were looking at is not the convenient screen to work off of. If you want to, you can come here and you can play with it. But uh, the way to actually activate Bixby, obviously, is the side button here. If you press and hold it and talk into it, Bixby will listen to you and when you release it, Bixby will try to process the command that you just issued. So basically it works like this. Let me press and hold. Turn on the Wi-Fi. And then I let it go. So now it's going to process the request. It goes back in here and it tells me that it's already on. Okay, so that's great. Now the other way to turn on Bixby is using your voice. So all you have to say is, hi Bixby and Bixby gets activated but you do have to set it up before you can use it. So let me show you how to do that. So again, go over to Bixby Home, go into the settings, and then scroll down to voice. And what you want is you wanna look at voice wake up. You tap this guy and you simply enable voice wake up. Now when you do it for the first time, it's gonna ask you to record your voice so it can recognize your voice. But in my case, I already did that. So check this out. Hi Bixby, turn on the flashlight. So the flashlight is currently turned on, but you cannot see that because it's sitting flat on the table. So let me turn that thing off. Hi Bixby, turn off the flashlight. Okay, the flashlight's off. Absolutely fantastic. And there's a lot of other things you can do. And I, I consider these to be basic commands where you can tell the thing to turn off Bluetooth or turn it off and all that good stuff. But there's also some advanced functionality that you can perform uh, using these Bixby commands. Now let me show you a couple more basic things, what I consider to be basic, just so you get an idea of what Bixby is capable of. Hi Bixby, take a screenshot. Okay, the captured it. Check it in the gallery app. 
Fantastic. So that's not something Siri can do as far as I remember, uh, but the Bixby can do it very easily. So it took a screenshot and it saved that picture into the gallery. And what I could do then is I can say, hi Bixby, open gallery and show me the latest photo. Fantastic. So that's the uh, screenshot that I just took uh, using my voice and then I was able to launch the uh, gallery application. This is the gallery application and see the last photo that I took. And as you can see, all the screenshots do go into the photo folder. Here's a few more examples. Now this one I would consider a little above just the basic, but what you can tell Bixby to do. Hi Bixby, turn on the brightness. So it went into the brightness settings, it, it actually turned on the brightness. Now watch this. Hi Bixby, increase the brightness more. Now as you can see, the bar moved up by itself. And of course, I can do the same thing, I can reverse it. Hi Bixby, decrease the brightness. Fantastic. Again, all these things that I can do with my finger, I can simply do them using my voice. And that's one of the beauties of Bixby voice. And here's another example. So let's say I went to the park or uh, let's say I went to the center city to drink in the bar and I parked my car somewhere. So what I want to do is I want to remember the location of my car. All I have to do is say, hi Bixby, save my parking location. And there we go. And what's going to happen is it saves that into your reminders and later you can come back and you can ask Bixby, let's say you forgot where you had parked, you can simply say, uh, ask Bixby to remind me where I was parked. Well, we can skip that. And uh, well, that's the way it works. Okay, so these are some of the basic things you can do uh, right from the home screen. And even if the phone is locked, this is going to work. So if I turn off the screen, I can say, hi Bixby, open the camera and take a picture. It is going to launch the camera and it's going to take a picture, okay, which is again amazing. Um, if the phone is locked, of course, you're not going to be able to do other things, but launching the camera should be no problem. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is more advanced functionalities. So to use these, I have to go into the, let's say, let me go into the camera application and show you what I can do with it. So first and foremost, let's launch it using my voice. Hi Bixby, open the camera application. So it launched the camera application, it's on standby, and of course you're not gonna see anything because it's sitting flat on the table, not a big deal. Uh, but let's say that I wanna change a setting in the camera itself. Normally what I would do is I would tap on the settings icon and I would say uh, maybe, let's see, let's say I wanna go to video size and I wanna record in UHD. Uh, I can actually do that using my voice commands. Now because this is beta, high Bixby is not working uh, when I'm in the app. It's going to work in the future, but right now it's not working. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold the power button, all right? And I'm going to issue the command. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Bixby Voice to turn on the setting where I can record in 4K. Again, if you go to the settings, it says uh, the rear camera uh, video size is full high definition right now. So let me change that. Change video quality of rear camera to UHD. Let it go. And let's see what happens. It actually went into the settings, to the video size settings, and went from a full high definition to UHD, which is 4K, all by itself. And again, I can reverse that. I can do these things in the camera. Let me show you one more example. All right, so if you scroll down here, it says, this is just an example, by the way, it says video stabilization, and you can enable or disable that if you want to. Uh, for some reason, it's not letting me do that right now because tracking autofocus is enabled. So now, uh, video stabilization can be turned on or off. Now, I can actually do that using my voice command. So let's do that one more time. Press and hold. Turn on video stabilization. Okay. It's gonna go down there and it's gonna actually turn that thing on by itself. So from here, I can use my voice and actually go back into the camera instead of pressing that button. So press and hold, go back. 
and it's gonna go back uh, as if I press the button. Again, everything you can do with your fingers, you're able to do uh, with voice commands. And for example, one more thing, last thing here, turn on the flash. Okay, as you can see on the top, the flash is now turned on. And you can turn it off, you can set it to auto, you can turn on and off the HDR capabilities, whatever you guys want, you can do using your voice controls. All right, so that's the camera, and there's other apps you can do this as well. Let me show you what those apps are, and let me show you how to find out every single thing you can do on a given app, on a supported app with Bixby Voice. So all you do is you go into the um, Bixby Home, go back into Settings, and from here, uh, you scroll down again under voice, you go to apps with voice. If you tap it, it's gonna show you all the current compatible apps that are available to be used using Bixby voice. And if I scroll down, as you can see, there's a lot of them. You know, the phone, the settings, the messages. And just to give an example, if I tap on any one of these apps, it gives me a full list of commands available for that specific application. And it's no joke, it's a whole bunch of uh, commands. If I go to the phone, if I tap on it, I can do all these things um, using my voice when I'm in the phone application. Okay, so all these options are doable. Go back here, the gallery application. Again, you have all these commands. You can pause the screen and take a look at them. Scroll down, you got all these things right here. And that's going to activate the sharing screen. And if you go into the settings, you can basically do everything in the settings that you can do with your fingers, okay? It says set the notification volume to max, decrease the notification volume, the brightness, the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, whatever you want. Any setting that is uh, hidden deep within the menu, you can activate or deactivate it. Let me go back out. Now, if you scroll down a little bit more, you're going to see something called Bixby Labs. Now, Bixby Labs are the apps that they're currently, currently experimenting on. So like the calendar, email, video player, voice recorder, they will work, but they're just not perfect. But they, the Bixby is designed to learn and, and perfect. So as these things get perfected, they'll get moved up over here uh, to apps with voice. All right, so that is basically the Bixby voice, guys. Um, remember, Bixby voice is just part of Bixby. If you scroll over, this is Bixby Home. Oops, this is Bixby Home. This is Bixby Reminders, okay? This is Bixby Vision that allows you to take pictures of items and you can shop for them later. And this is Bixby Voice, the one we've been looking at today. And again, I showed you some of the basic commands and some of the advanced things you can do. And I gave you a full idea of what it is capable of. So stay tuned, guys, until Bixby Voice is in your phone. And I can guarantee you, you're going to love it. And that brings us to the end of this video. Make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more tech updates and in-depth coverage. Also, do not forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Saki Tech Online. Have a fantastic day.